symbol of AND gate is like this. A and B are the inputs and Y is the output. The truth table, it has four conditions when both are zero. A1, B0, A0, B1 and both are one. And now we have to find out the outputs. As we are going to design two inputs AND gate, so we need two diodes. Here diode one and this is the second diode. Here we will provide input A and input B. We have to connect a pull-up resistor with the anode pin of the diodes and here we will connect the positive volt. We will provide plus 5 volt. And from here we will take the output. As the output we will use an LED. And the negative pin of the LED is connected to the ground. So this is the circuit of diode AND gate. Now we will analyze the circuit and then we will find out the output. Here 0 means the voltage level is equivalent to ground or 0 volt. And 1 means it is equivalent to positive 5 volt. The internal resistance of a diode Resistance of diode is less than internal resistance of an LED. How we know that? Because the voltage drop at LED is minimum about 1.8 volt and at the silicon diode the voltage drop is 0.7 volt. So low voltage drop means low resistance, high voltage drop means high resistance. Okay. So we have to know that to analyze this circuit. As we are providing 0 volt at both input and the cathode pin 0 volt is applied and here we are providing plus 5 volt and we have a resistor and here we have an LED and it is connected to ground. Now there are three ways to flow the current from positive to this ground or this. As the internal resistance of an LED is higher than the internal resistance of a diode, at this time the current will flow like this. And also we are providing positive volt in the anode side of the diode and at the negative side we are providing zero volt. So in this condition, the diode is working as closed circuit. This both diode. Now current is flowing through this way. So there is no way to turn on the LED. So when we are providing 0, 0, then the output is 0. For the second condition, 1, 1 means plus 5 volt and here 0 volt. As we are providing 0 at the negative side of the diode and in the positive side we are providing the positive volt. So this diode is working as closed circuit. As the potential difference of both the end of the diode is 0, so current will not flow in this way. Current will flow with this diode. So at this time also current is flowing through low resistive way as the LED has higher resistance than the diode and this diode is working as open circuit. So 1, 0 and 0. For the third condition it will be just opposite. And now this diode is working as open circuit and this one is working as closed circuit. But still the output is zero. Now for the fourth condition that is both are one that is plus five volt. Now this is the circuit of fourth condition. Now at this time the potential difference of both the end is 0 
so current will not flow through this way for the second diode also the potential difference is zero so this diode also is working as open circuit and current will not flow so the only way to flow the current through the LED and now we'll get the output so when we are applying one one then we'll get the output so this is how this circuit works now we'll see the practical circuit on the breadboard and for the practical circuit we'll use 220 ohms the resistor and as a diode I'll use 1N4007 so this is the circuit here we have two diodes the negative side that is cathode side and this is anode side anode side cathode side according to the circuit both anode side are connected together 220 ohms resistor is connected to anode side of the diode and it is connected to plus 5 volt and LED is connected the positive pin of the LED is connected to anode side of the diode and negative side of the LED is connected to ground here we have input 1 I am connecting to the negative or ground here it is input 2 connect both the positive rail as here this positive is connected so we have to connect this to connect with this rail now connect the negative and the positive I have connected 5 volt now A0 B0 we are getting the output 0 A1 B0 0 in the output a0 B1 0 in the output and when both are 1 then we are getting the output so this is how we can make and get using diodes thanks for watching